So, hi guys, welcome back to another video of me opening up stuff. Today we're going to be opening up a the DeWalt uh, <coughs> DC drill. So, as you can see, it takes it is 18 volts and it's 6 amps if you can't see it. But I can see that. So, this is the one we're going to be taking apart today. And I have all the other ones that are drills. So this is the Milwaukee, and this is the Makita. So this Milwaukee is metal, as you can see right here. This thing's metal, the switch. All these things have switches. This one's metal. This one's not metal. It's plastic. And this one is metally type-ish. I don't know, it looks like it's metal and it feels like it. So I'm just gonna call it a metal. So, today we're gonna take apart this one. So now, I got my Dewalt. And I got my suit. It's a T10, tw or Twerx, and I'm gonna be opening this bad boy up for you guys today. So, as you can see, wait, there's no screw right here. What? <laughs> Why is there no screw right there? Okay, we're still we're gonna open this thing up and see what's inside. So I believe this is a chuck. Let's see what's inside. Oh, there gotta be something right here because it, look at, you see that? There's gotta be some gears in here. Wait, what are these things? Okay, let's get back to that later. Okay, so now let's unscrew this thing. Here I have these four screws to take apart. Oh, that just fell out. Oh, there's the gears. I don't know what these things are used for because they're just right here doing nothing. So, if you can see if there's, this doesn't go. Well, okay, that just happened. Okay, so let's get all these gears. Put this is a side real quick. Uh, oh, oh, I don't remember how it went. <laughs> How did it go? Like this? Oh, maybe like that. And then... I didn't see how it went. Know that these gears go in here. Oh, I think one of them go in here like this. So one of these things go into there like this. One of them have to go in there. Well, they don't have to, but I believe so. Where's the other one? This one's taller. Then how is this one gonna get in? That's weird. Let's get back to screwing the, these other. Well, my hands are all greasy. I can't I screw it now. There we go. There we go. I got it. Ah! Hey, while well, I'm getting these screws out. Uh, I need to. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm gonna get these screws out real quick and pop the top off and see what's happening. Okay, so. Bunch of wire. Well, not a bunch, it's only like a couple wires, too. Whatever. 
Okay. So let's see if we can get this thing off. I didn't bother to look there, so. Okay, and so now I can open it up. So now I got this off. Sorry for pausing the video, but I had never seen a switch like this in my life. As you can see, this switch, I have lots of other different things. So let me push this aside real quick. I have this die grinder switch. Let's share the impact wrench switch. There was one more switch right here that was different, but you had to have something else with it. So, this switch is way more different. So, let me get you closer. So, as you can see, this is. I never seen anything like this before. Because look at all these things are just common, they're all black. This is actually copper. And it has even a label right here, so it's 18 volts and it's DC. So now if I go right here, you can see that there's things right here and you the battery, you clamp it onto it to there and it makes a click sound. So that means those things go into here. You went out, uh, so the electricity flows into here, into there, to the switch, goes into here. Oh, look at that burn! Whoa! Then it goes in or which to a brushless motor or not a brushless motor. So if I take this one off right here, if I can, there we go. Take this one off for quick sorry Hmm. I don't know why this doesn't want to come off. Oh. Okay. So now I am left with this plastic thing out of here. So now I'm off with this. Still has this wire. Well, I have never seen anything like this either. How would you how would you get into this? I I wouldn't know. This, Let's see if we can get into this thing. I don't think we can, but let's try. Let's get all this. I don't know. Even though my job is to get dirty and open up stuff, still, you gotta clean some things to see how we get or find stuff. So it looks like this one's a brushless motor. Ah, oh, cause this not think this thing's not coming off. I don't know. Wait, I don't think it's a brushless one. You know I me? Mean? If I can use my tool to get this out, that'd be great. So, let's go back to the switch real quick. These things. So, I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so let's put these in the bucket. Well, I guess that's it. I don't even know. <laughs> Here, let me get back to the gear screen, guys. So, this is called a, uh, wow, well, I forgot. It's called like a planners. That's a gear. 
classic called something. But we all know it's like called plan planner or something. But this thing oh sorry if you guys didn't see that I wasn't paying attention, so Okay. Wow. Can you guys all see those spinning? Whoa. Wait, let me let me go see is this Whoa, 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 so, sorry, they're not called planners. They're called planetary, planetary gears, because they spin around. Basically, like they spin around the sun. You can see they're spinning around. So, and I found a whole bunch of other gears right here. And oh, what the? I just found that. As you can see, I don't think you can see that, but there's a whole bunch of gears right here. That. That I need to get out. Oh. See if they can get these out. Wait. Huh. Let me, get, uh, let me see if I can get something out. Uh, these things should be able to come out. They're stuck in some up there. Mm. Oh, there we go. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Wait, oh, okay, I thought that was a I thought that was a crack for a second. It was just the grease. Okay, so now you can see all these little tiny pins. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, I guess these have to go with something else, too. Well, look how tall these. So let's compare all these other gears. So we got small ones, medium, and then big ones. So the small ones... Or like this. This is how big they are. Medium ones are like this. And the tall ones are like this. <laughs> so the tall ones go into a different one, which is right here. Where's all the other ones at? Uh, right here. And there was one more at. Right here. The thing goes into here. The, maybe this thing does? Whoa. Wait. Uh oh. Whoa. <laughs> Wait. Wait now. Even though these things don't go on the... No, I, they do. Wait. They do. That's surprising. I didn't... I didn't even know. Good thing I just stopped there right now. I was just messing around, and then... They actually go like that? I don't even know if they do or not. That's cool. Whoa. That's cool. Look at that. That's gross. 
That's cool. Okay, put that aside for a second. I don't want that to drop. Okay. So mm. now, oh my gosh, look at my hands. Okay, so, so now I'm going to use this to hold it down so I can use this. Okay. Oh, okay. So now. Basically got it open. <laughs> oh my, dude, that's tough. No way in hell that thing's gonna come off. So I found what I needed, and as you can see, if I can find it, there is. Let me zoom out real quick. Uh, where did it go? Okay, so there's a one, two, three, and it happened. There's ha uh, the gears happen to have one, two, three. I mean, yeah, one, two, three. So, if you turn one of those, pr probably, the gears would switch like this. So, like, the power would go, for one, and then two, and then three. Let's get this. magnetic oh so as you can see this motor has a magnet in it mm. this must be a big magnet because look at this I never seen a motor in my life like this a magnetic motor no so if you pull this one out that's hard to pull out Pull this one out. It's a magnetic motor. So you can just you can see that there's just bigger wires. And as opposed to this motor, there's tiny wires but a lot more. So this one just slides in and out. In and out, in and out. So But this one does not. So, hope you enjoyed my teardown. I love doing this and learned about a new motor, a magnetic motor. And as you can see, the, it's, and it's not a brushless because there's a brush right there. The other one's lost. I don't know where that one went. Or it's just in there. But it's just damaged. So, hope you enjoyed my teardown. I loved it. And hope to see you guys next time.